Hi, I'm going to talk about something we just got in the mail. I've been actually waiting on this. This is a 12 volt DC water pump. Um, this is submersible. Now, I'm going to check this. I just got it out of the box. Uh, it was delivered from the United States Postal Service. Uh, they actually left it in the mailbox because it did fit. Now, I'm going to try this. Um, if you know we are uh, buying a piece of property, if you watch any of my other videos, you would know that. Yeah, get me not in here. And we are right on a river. I mean, literally, right there is our property line. So, we're going to use water from the river to plant a garden. Instead of using water out of our well, which I have to dig by hand. So, of course, any water we get out of our well we don't want to pull too much water out it's going to be a very shallow well hopefully i hit water within 15 to 20 feet since i am having to dig this by hand we figured we'd go ahead and get a pump that will actually suck water from the river now unfortunately this is going to be real hard for me to do because i'm, I'm having to do this with one hand and hook it up hold it on the battery with one hand and hold the hose so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it in this is a brand new hose it is only 10 feet there we go hopefully it doesn't doesn't squirt water all over me <laughs> all right now you can see it's just it's under the surface now having to hold this on here and do this with one hand is really not going to be easy there it goes This is a 12 volt pump. And like I said, I'm actually holding these wires um, on this little bitty battery I use for testing. The battery is bad. There's not a lot of power in it. Uh, it will actually have more power once, you know, I, ha I have it hooked up to a, a good battery. Instead of just, you know, sticking the wires on here. Okay, this pump costed uh, $54 off eBay, I believe. I will look, uh, just to make sure. And, in fact, let me do that real quick. Let me take the camera in. I do not want to leave this stuff out very long. Uh, let's get Midnight in there again. He's over there creeping this way. I don't know if you can see him or not. All right. Uh, the reason I don't want to leave that out, we do have a lot of thieves in our area. Here's the exact pump. It was $54, free shipping. Um, it's a 12 inch, 12 volt submersible deep well DC water pump. This does go down like 90 feet or something like that. Which of course we won't need it to pull 90 feet. And I am just checking it. Um, I did have to take some of our emergency water out, a 5 gallon bucket, to check this with. And once again this little battery is pretty much dead. I have not charged it uh, since I've been using it. And that's the pump. I do not have a clamp on the hose. It is a half inch hose. According to the specs, that is just over four inches across. I do not know if it will fit into a four inch pipe. Um, even if it doesn't, it would just be barely a little bit bigger. And you could probably trim down the very top on the edge. Right here.
and it seems to be working okay I don't know how far this will actually pump uh, it does not take a lot of power 12 volt I believe it's 300 watts maybe if I remember the documentation on it it is waterproof and once again it does take a half inch hose so if you're planning on buying one of these this was 10 foot of half inch hose that I bought it is water drinking safe and I believe I paid around eight bucks for it offline and of course midnight's just sniffing around and I just got this pump in the mail like I said today just a little while ago um, even on my eBay stuff it still says it hasn't been delivered yet but you know hey at least I caught it at least they didn't leave it outside somewhere so that's always a good thing and once again I'm using a little bitty battery I mean you can tell how small this battery is this is an automotive cigarette lighter sitting on the top I mean it's it, it's not a big battery at all on this in case you don't know the white wire is positive I was lucky this was still on here uh, it seems to be coming off so if you buy one of these and one of these tags isn't on the whites positive the black is negative so and it actually took that down at a pretty decent speed uh, we will be running the hose we're gonna throw it in the river run the hose probably 30 to 40 feet it may not suck a lot of water and pump a lot of water at one time but hey I mean if you can run something like this off of uh, solar panels I actually should in fact you know what I'm gonna try um, let me turn this camera off real quick I hate doing this because every time I do this I have to splice stuff together and there's not a whole lot of water in this bucket but I really would like to try something I would like to try to hook this up to my charger controller and let's see if I can get it to work from that without shorting something out um, this is going to be really tough without actually shorting something out Yes, it does work with a solar charger controller on the load function. And you can tell it, it's pumping much faster. Oh yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I gotta stop this. These have to stay in the water. Do not run these unless they are submerged. Uh, if you're using this in a river or lake, my advice is have it at least six inches down under the surface so it doesn't suck air up. And you can see, when I hook this up to the charger controller, what I may do is hook a switch up to my load function, an on and off switch. Instead of hooking this to a battery, just hook it to load because during the day is when we're going to be using this. And just let it run off the solar charger controller. I do have a 30 amp charger controller. I have four 100 watts of solar. It's at Eco Sources. Um, ICO slash SL slash L slash 30A. It's from www.ecosources.com. It's a 1224 volt, excuse me, 1224 volt charger controller. And I have this on 12 volt. But as you can see, it did run off of the load function on my charger controller. And once again, it has to be submerged. Do not run these without being submerged. So if you're looking for a good water pump, this is actually a deep well pump. Uh, like I say, they, they say it's supposed to pull 90 feet or something like that. Personally, I would not trust this in 90 feet. Uh, it's only $54. Um, that's what I paid for it with free shipping. They are a little bit more at some other places. The battery I used it on is almost dead. You can hook this up to your car battery. You can hook this up to your solar. Or just take a little battery with you. I don't know how long that would last like I said you can see the size of this battery in fact <laughs> the cigarette lighter with the end in it is actually bigger than the battery is across wide so 
it seems to work really well now you know if you have solar and you want to get a water pump for like a river lake a pond um, this will work on your solar system depends on how many solar panels you have I'm not sure I'm not going to hook this up to a hundred so watt solar panel but I have seen kits that have one of these pumps just like this a small 15 amp or to 20 amp solar charger controller and one 100 watt solar panel so I'm pretty sure this will work with one solar panel but I think what I'll do is I'll of course we'll put a switch on this on and off switch DC and I'll just wire it into my charger controller once we get moved um, and I wanted you to see that unfortunately uh, the sun's going behind a cloud <laughs> And it, it pulled water pretty quick. It seems to be a, a pretty good pump. And like I said, once we get moved, we're thinking about ways to be off grid. Uh, we will have our own water well, our own septic. We're on the river. Literally, we're on the Yellowstone River. Right there, on the river. So we're going to have a garden and try to be completely off grid with our solar, uh, with the bike generator uh, in there. So that's our plan. If you've been off grid or are off grid and you have some advice, and I know we have to cut power back way back when we go off grid, but I live in Montana. Um, when we move, the land we're purchasing is over by Miles City, Montana, around the Foresight area. So if you live in that area and you have any advice on growing a garden, please leave it in comments. Uh, it will be a year to two years before we actually move up there or even go up there. But we're trying our best to get everything that we need to actually be able to survive off grid because there's no power lines going to our property there's no water going to our property no septic going to our property so everything we have to do ourselves so if you have any advice for me if you live in that area around the Miles City area Foresight area in Montana please leave comments letting me know what you grow in your garden when you plant it when you harvest you know anything you can help out with would be appreciated but like I said we are right on the Yellowstone River so we are trying our best to get everything situated and set up before we go up there anyway I wanted you to see the pump this is a brand new pump I can't turn it on much longer because well there's this has to be submersed in water and there you go and you can tell it doesn't pump a lot of water, but it sure pumps enough. So if you're interested in one of these, they cost anywhere from between around, if you want to pay for shipping, I've seen them cheap as $39 up to $75, up to $120. Um, if you want free shipping, they cost just over $50 to $75 with free shipping. Um, the wire is supposed to be water sealed, water tight, so water can't get in there. This is 100% submersible, and it is actually a pretty big unit. I mean, it's pretty heavy too. I mean, wow, this thing probably weighs eight, ten pounds easily. It easily weighs the weight, if not more, way more, I'd say, than a milk jug. So it's it's pretty built. It's pretty sturdy. Anyway, uh, I wouldn't have done another video today. Uh, I just uploaded the video on a budget laptop. But since this came in today, and my girlfriend's off work tomorrow, uh, we do spend a lot of time together when she's off work. So I figured I'd better get this uploaded today. And once again, I will end up putting a clamp down there to hold the hose on. I just don't have a clamp that small. And midnight, he's just, yeah, he's out of the cone. His boo boo's doing a little bit better. So, as long as he leaves it alone, he'll be fine. 
but this is my review on this pump I have to take it out of the water let it dry out so I can put it in the house and if you're interested in these pumps it seems like it works pretty well it does not have a massive high water flow uh, that is the one issue do not let people tell you it has a super great water flow this is only a 10 foot hose I cut off six inches of it and you can tell it has water coming out just not a great deal of water you get that better I got away but not a great deal of water I don't know how well this is going to push 25 to 30 feet. I guess once we move, we'll find out. Uh, but once again, I will hook this up to my solar panel, to my charger controller load function, because when we're going to be using this is during nothing but nowhere in the daytime. Because our water, for you know, water in the yard and uh, planting our vegetables, will come out directly from the river. And that's exactly why I bought this one. We do have a different pump that we will be using a small jet pump for our drinking well. And like I said, I just wanted you to see the pump. I wanted you to see it in action. Most people don't show these actually in action. And the flow is not that great. But I mean, what can you expect for running off a DC 12 volt? But, um,. All right, I'm fixing to go. I hope this did not restart. It looks like it may have. Um, if it did, I apologize. And if it did, I'm gonna have to redo the video. But um, anyway, everyone have a good day.